current time is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. This hazardous weather outlook is for the county served by the National Weather Service Office in Birmingham. For outlook through tonight, there is a potential for a severe weather outbreak across east central Alabama. The given time frame for the severe weather will likely be 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. All modes of severe weather will be possible, including, but not limited to, damaging straight line winds, large destructive hail, flash flooding, and destructive tornadoes. And now the extended outlook from Saturday through Thursday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement, activation of storm spotters and emergency management the personnel will be needed later today. Here is your National Weather Service forecast for Aniston, Gadsden, and surrounding communities. Service has issued Tornado Watch number 224, effective until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties in Alabama, Calhoun, Chambers, Cherokee, Clay, Cleburne, Coosa, Etowa, Jefferson, Randolph, Shelby, St. Clair, Talladega, and Tallapoosa, and the following county, Carroll County, Georgia. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to no weather radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 224 is in effect until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, in Alabama, Calhoun, Chambers, Cherokee, Clay, Cleburne, Coosa, Etowa, Jefferson, Randolph, Shelby, St. Clair, Talladega, and Tallapoosa, and the following county, Carroll County, Georgia. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 224, effective until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornado. Service in Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Walker County in Central Alabama, Northeastern Tuscaloosa County in West Central Alabama, Southwestern Jefferson County in Central Alabama until 10:30 a.m. Central Standard Time. At 9:58 a.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Bank at Lockham Dam, or 14 miles northeast of Old, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard. 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Source radar indicated. Impact, expect wind damage to roofs, siding and trees. Locations impacted include North Johns, Bankhead Lockham Dam, Bull City, Windham Springs, Little Shoal and Lake Nicol. A tornado watch remains in effect for the area. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. 
If you spot a tornado going once into a basement or small interior room on the lowest floor, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for the following county, Jefferson County, Alabama. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Chilton County in central Alabama, south central Shelby County in central Alabama, northwestern Coosa County in east central Alabama, until 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. At 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Jemison, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts in quarter-size hail source radar indicated impact hail damage to vehicles is expected expect wind damage to roofs siding and trees locations impacted include Clinton, jemison forsby mitchell lake dollar gap of the mountain lay lake dam marble valley higgins ferry park lay lake manuka park lomax waxahachie creek faint creek and i-65 rest area a tornado watch remains in effect for the area Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado going once into a basement or small interior room on the lowest floor, for your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Alabama, Coosa, and Shelby. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for... ...hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts in quarter-size hail. Source... The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a flash flood warning for Shelby County in central Alabama, Jefferson County in central Alabama, until 1.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10.11 a.m. Central Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall across the warned area. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Birmingham, Hoover, Vestavia Hills, Alabaster, Bessemer, Homewood, Pelham, Mountain Brook, Trussville, Helena, Hueytown, Gardenta, Irondale, Leeds, Moody, Calera, Fairfield, Chelsea, Baltindale, and Montevallo. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, as well as urban areas highways, streets, and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A flash flood warning means that flooding is imminent or occurring. If you are in the warned area, move to higher ground immediately. Residents living along streams and creeks should take immediate precautions to protect life and property. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 1.15 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Alabama, Jefferson, and Shelby. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a flash flood warning for Shelby County in central Alabama, Jefferson County in central Alabama, until 1.15 p.m. Central Standard Time.
the National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a flash flood warning for Shelby County in Central Alabama, Jefferson County in Central Alabama, until 1.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10.11 a.m. Central Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall across the warned area. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Birmingham, Hoover, Vestavia Hills, Alabaster, Bessemer, Homewood, Pelham, Mountain Brook, Trussville, Helena, Hueytown, Gardenta, Irondale, Leeds, Moody, Clara, Fairfield, Chelsea, Baltondale, and Montevallo. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, as well as urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. A flash flood warning means that flooding is imminent or occurring. If you are in the warned area, move to higher ground immediately. Residents living along streams and creeks should take immediate precautions to protect life and property. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 1.15 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Alabama, Jefferson, and Shelby. Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall across the warned area. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will exp Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a tornado warning for Western Lee County in East Central Alabama, Northeastern Macon County in Southeastern Alabama, South Central Tallapoosa County in East Central Alabama until 12.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 11.47 a.m. Central Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Natasalga, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, not a sulk around 11.55 a.m. Central Standard Time. Tuskegee National Forest around 12.05 p.m. Central Standard Time. Auburn and Auburn University around 12.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Robert A. Jeepitz Airport, Chuakla State Park, I-85 Rest Area, Low Chapoka, Up Apey Creek, Rialton, and Moton Field Municipal Airport. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 12.15 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following county, Tallapoosa County, Alabama. The National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a tornado warning for Western Lee County in East Central Alabama, Northeastern Macon County in Southeastern Alabama, South Central Tallapoosa County in East Central Alabama until 12.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. Are 
listening to the voice of the National Weather Service on NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH-20. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Huntsville and is transmitted on a frequency of 162.400. At 11 a.m., at Huntsville International Airport, a thunderstorm was reported. The temperature was 72 degrees. The dew point was 60, making a relative humidity of 66%. Winds were east at 5 miles per hour. Pressure was 29.85 inches and falling. At the University of Alabama in Huntsville, a thunderstorm was reported. The temperature was 71 degrees. The dew point was 58, making a relative humidity 63%. Winds were east at 6 miles per hour. service in Huntsville has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Jackson County in northeastern Alabama, northwestern Marshall County in northeastern Alabama, southern Madison County in north central Alabama, east central Morgan County in north central Alabama until 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 11.58 a.m. Central Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated a cluster of thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Huntsville, Madison, Redstone Arsenal, Owens Crossroads, Grant, Gurley, Woodville, Triana, Marshall Space Flight Center, University of Alabama in Huntsville, Morgan City, Huntsville International Airport, Pleasant Groves, Paint Rock, Limrock, Valhermoso Springs, Hampton Cove, Columbus City, Brownsboro, and Lacey Springs. Turn around. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 3 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Alabama, Jackson, Madison, Marshall, and Morgan. The National Weather Service in Huntsville has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Jackson County. Central Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated a cluster of thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the war. Service in Huntsville has issued a tornado warning for Western Jackson County in northeastern Alabama, Marshall County in northeastern Alabama, southeastern Madison County in north central Alabama, southwestern DeKalb County in northeastern Alabama until 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 12.22 p.m. Central Standard Time, a severe squall line capable of producing both tornadoes and straight line wind damage was located along a line extending from near Gurley to Steed, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated. An area of strong rotation was indicated near Gurley, while a second area of strong rotation was indicated near McLarty. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. These dangerous storms will be near Gurley around 12.35 p.m. Central Standard Time. Bosun Skyline around 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by these tornadic thunderstorms include High Point, Limrock, Scrum, Lake Guntersville State Park, Painter, Eaks Corner, Whiten, Larkinsville, Rabbit Town, and Lathamville. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This line of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home or business. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties in Alabama, Jackson, Madison, and Marshall.
the National Weather Service in Huntsville has issued a tornado warning for Western Jackson County in northeastern Alabama, Marshall County in northeastern Alabama, southeastern Madison. Due to the threat of severe weather, no weather radio station WXM32 has interrupted its normal programming. We will resume normal broadcasting once the threat is passed. Visit our website at weather.gov slash Atlanta for the latest weather information, including watches and warnings. At 1 p.m. in Columbus, a thunderstorm was reported. 68 degrees, 2.54, relative humidity 60%. Wind south at 5 miles per hour, gusting to 15 miles per hour. Pressure was 29.91 inches and falling. The forecast for the Columbus area. Tornado watch 224 in effect. Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Muscogee County in West Central Georgia, Central Chattahoochee County in West Central Georgia, South Central Harris County in West Central Georgia, until 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 1.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located over Phoenix City, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, trained weather spotters reported tornado. Damage has also been reported west of Phoenix City. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Columbus, North Fort Benning, Bip City, Apatoy, St. Mary's Hills, Edgewood, Platte Rock, Highland Park, Laurel Hills, Green Island Hills, Sand Hill, Battle Park, Vista Currents, Columbus Metropolitan Airport, Rose Hill, Kenwood, Midland, Custer Road Terrace, Hill slash West Fort Benning and Benning Hills. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed, and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466, or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. Due to the threat of severe weather, no weather radio station WXM32.
find that they may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damaged roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Columbus, North Fort Benning, Hip City, Illinois, St. Mary's Hills, Edgewood, Flat Rock, Highland Park, Laurel Hills, Green Island Hills, Sand Hill, Battle Park, Vista Prince, Columbus Metropolitan Airport, Rose Hill, Kenwood, Midland, Custer and Terrace, York slash West Fort Benning and Benning Hills. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of the sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. If you see room damage, kill your flooding. Wait until this room has passed, and then call the National Weather Service to for the one 866 that read us your report in NWS Atlanta. Tornado watch number 224 remains in effect until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 9 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following counties, in Georgia, Carroll, Gowada, Hurt, Merriweather and Troop, and the following counties, in Alabama, Chambers and Randolph. Remember, a tornado watch means, that conditions are...
National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Southern Hood County in West Central Georgia, Northern Troop County in West Central Georgia, Southwestern Coweta County in West Central Georgia, until to 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 1.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located near Standing Rock, or 8 miles east of Roanoke, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to LaGrange, Franklin, Hogansville, Coronet, Ware, Harrisonville, Hillcrest, Ware's Crossroads, Glen and Powers Crossroads. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed, and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466 or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Due to the threat of severe weather, no weather radio station WXJ31 has interrupted its normal programming. We will resume normal broadcasting once the threat is passed. Visit our website at weather.gov slash Atlanta for the latest weather information, including watches and warnings. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Southern Hood County in West Central Georgia, Northern Troop County in West Central Georgia, Southwestern Coweta County in West Central Georgia, until to 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, at 1.50 p.m. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Marion County in West Central Georgia, Northeastern Muscogee County in West Central Georgia, Northeastern Chattahoochee County in West Central Georgia, Southern Galbert County in West Central Georgia, Western Taylor County in West Central Georgia, Southeastern Harris County in West Central Georgia, until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 1.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Apatoy, or 11 miles southwest of Talbotton, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and golf ball size hail. Source, trained weather spotters. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Junction City, Geneva, Box Springs, Howard, Marion Estates, Juniper, Baldwinville, Charing, Prattsburg, Oakland, and Mark. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. In addition to large hail and damaging winds, continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466. Or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National
National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Mary At 1.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Rapatoy for 11 months. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Spalding County in West Central Georgia, northern Meriwether County in West Central Georgia, West Central Fayette County in North Central Georgia, northwestern Pike County in West Central Georgia, northeastern Troop County in West Central Georgia, southern Coweta County in West Central Georgia, until 2.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 2.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Grantville, or 10 miles south of Newton, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs and outbuildings. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Newton, Peachtree City, Senoya, Hogansville, Grantville, Louisville, Moreland, Sharpsburg, Torin, Lone Oak, East Newton, Rocky Mount, St. Mark's, Alberton and Wooster. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. In addition to large hail and damaging winds, continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm, and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed, and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466, or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for This is no weather radio station WNG633 in Sneeds, Florida, operating on a frequency of 162.425 MHz. This broadcast originates from your National Weather Service office in Tallahassee, Florida. The latest weather and forecast information can also be accessed by calling our automated forecast line at 850-942-8851. The current time is 2.42 p.m. Central Standard Time. These are the 3 p.m. Eastern... The National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Houston County in southeastern Alabama, northeastern Jackson County in Florida, southwestern Early County in southwestern Georgia, northwestern Seminole County in southwestern Georgia, until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 3.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 3.42 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 2.42 p.m. Central Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located 7 miles southeast of Cottonwood, moving east at 25 miles per hour. 
This tornadic thunderstorm will otherwise remain over main littoral areas of southeastern Houston, northeastern Jackson, southwestern Ernie and northwestern Seminole counties, including the following locations, Steam Mill, Malone, Saffold, Bascom, Crosby, Greenwood, Grangeburg, Howard's Mill, Sealy Springs and River Turn. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 3.15 p.m. Central Standard Time for the following county, Houston, Alabama, and the following county, Jackson, Florida, and the following counties, and Georgia, early in Seminole. The National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Houston County and South... The following broadcast is a special weather statement from the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. Significant weather advisory for Central Wicula, Southeastern Liberty, and North Central Franklin Counties until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 3.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a strong thunderstorm 14 miles north of Caravelle, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Wind gusts of 30 miles per hour or greater are possible with this storm. Locations impacted include Crawfordville, Soptropy, Panacea Wicula Airport, Aaron, McIntyre, Sanborn, Tully, Panacea, Poplar Camp, Metrot, Buckhorn, Curtis Mill and Spring Creek. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may cause localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Tornado watch number 224 remains in effect until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in Florida, Franklin, Gadsden, Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Taylor, and Wicula, and the following counties, and Georgia, Brooks, Decatur, Grady, and Thomas. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to No Weather Radio, commercial radio or television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 224 remains in effect. Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Gadsden County in Big Bend of Florida, central Leon County in Big Bend of Florida, until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 3.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Midway, moving east to 25 miles per hour. This is a very dangerous storm. Hazard, 80 miles per hour wind gusts, and hail 2 inches in diameter. Source, trained weather spotters. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Expect considerable damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles. Extensive tree damage and power outages are likely. Locations impacted include Tallahassee, Midway, Florida A&M, Tallahassee Community College, Florida State University, Doug Campbell Stadium, Lake Bradford, Ralford Greenway, Bacon Community College, Cather Community Center, Lake Munson, Tallahassee Memorial Hospital, Killerna Estates, Lake Ella, Tallahassee Mall, Tallahassee Regional Airport, State Capitol Complex, Governor's Square Mall, Forest Meadows and Spring Sachs Park. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. This is a dangerous situation. This storm is producing widespread wind damage and large destructive hail in eastern Gadsden County. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. This is an extremely dangerous situation with tornado-like wind speeds expected. Mobile homes and high-profile vehicles are especially susceptible to winds of this magnitude and may be overturned. 
for your protection move immediately to a safe shelter or to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home or business. This storm has the potential to cause serious injury and significant property damage. In addition to large hail and damaging winds, continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in Florida, Gadsden, and Leon. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH24 in Tallahassee, Florida, operating 24 hours a day on a frequency of 162.40 MHz. This broadcast originates from your National Weather Service office in Tallahassee, Florida. The latest weather and forecast information can also be accessed by calling our automated forecast line at 850-942-8851. The current time is 3.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The following broadcast is a special weather statement from the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. Significant weather advisory for Central Wicula, Southeastern Liberty, and North Central Franklin Counties until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 3.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a strong thunderstorm 14 miles north of Carabell, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Wind gusts to 30 miles per hour or greater are possible with this storm. Locations impacted include Crawfordville, Soptropy, Panacea Wicula Airport, Aaron, McIntyre, Sanborn, Tolly, Panacea, Poplar Camp, Meddard, Buckhorn, Curtis Mill and Spring Creek. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may cause localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle. for the following counties in Florida, Franklin, Gadsden, Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Taylor, and Wicula, and the following counties in Georgia, Brooks, Decatur, Grady, and Thomas. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 225, effective until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. This watch includes the following counties in Florida, Franklin, Gadsden, Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Taylor, and Wicula, and the following counties in Georgia, Brooks, Decatur, Grady, and Thomas. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to no weather radio, commercial radio or television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 225 is in effect until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following counties in Florida, Franklin, Gadsden, Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Taylor, and Wicula, and the following counties in Georgia, Brooks, Decatur, Grady, and Thomas. Tornado Watch number 224 has been canceled for the following counties in Florida, Franklin, Gadsden, Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Taylor, and Wicula, and the following counties, in Georgia, Brooks, Decatur, Grady. Wicula, Southeastern Liberty, and North Central Franklin counties until 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 3.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a strong thunderstorm 14 miles north of Carabell, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Wind gusts to 30 miles per hour or greater are possible with this storm. Locations impacted include Crawfordville, Soptropy, Panacea Wicula Airport, Aaron, McIntyre, Sanborn, Tully, Panacea, Poplar Camp, Meddard, Buckhorn, Curtis Mill and Spring Creek. Torrential rainfall is also occurring with this storm and may cause localized flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Tornado watch number 224 has been canceled for the following counties in Florida, Franklin, Gadsden, 
Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Taylor, and Wakula, and the following counties, and Georgia, Brooks, Decatur, Grady, and Thomas. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 225, effective until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. This watch includes the following counties, in Florida, Franklin, Anston, Jefferson, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Taylor, and Wakula, and the following counties, in Georgia, Brooks, Decatur, Grady, and Thomas. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to know. National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a flash flood warning for Wigula County in Big Bend of Florida, Southeastern Liberty County in Big Bend of Florida, Franklin County in Big Bend of Florida until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 3.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Flash flooding is expected to begin shortly. Some locations that will experience flooding include Caramel, St. Mark's, East Point, Crawfordville, Woodville, Appalachicola, Wakula, Franklin, Sopchipi, Newport, Carabell Beach, East Camp, Jewel Fire Towel, Shadeville, Wakula Springs, Vilas, Beverly, Panacea, Poplar Camp and Smith Creek. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, in Florida, Franklin, Liberty, and Wakula. The National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a flash flood warning for Wakula County in Big Bend of Florida, Southeastern Liberty County in Big Bend of Florida, Franklin County in Big Bend of Florida, until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 3.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms produced. Tornado watch number 224 has been canceled for the following counties. In Georgia, Baker, Brooks, Calhoun, Colquitt, Cook, Decatur, Dory, Early, Grady, Lee, Lawrence, Miller, Mitchell, Seminole, Terrell, Thomas, Kitt, and Worth. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 225, in effect until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. This watch includes the following counties. In Georgia, Baker, Brooks, Calhoun, Colquitt, Cook, Decatur, Dory, Early, Grady, Lee, Lawrence, Miller, Mitchell, Seminole, Terrell, Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to No Weather Radio. Source, weather spotters confirmed tornado. 
at 4.09 p.m., a large tornado, estimated to be near 2.1 miles wide in diameter, was reported near Albany, with a history of catastrophic damage near the Dory Calhoun County line. Impact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of entire neighborhoods is likely. Many well-built homes and businesses will be completely swept from their foundations. Debris will block most roadways. Mass devastation is highly likely, making the area unrecognizable to survivors. The tornado will be near Putney and East Albany around 4.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Turner City around 4.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Albany around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Marine Corps Logistics Base around 4.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sylvester around 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Gordon, Stocks, Radium Springs, Forrester, Lockett Crossing, Sylvester Airport, Walker, South Albany, Southwest Georgia Regional Airport in Palmyra. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, and Georgia, Dory, Lee, Terrell, and Worth. Tornado emergency for Dory County, including the city of Albany, Georgia. The National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a tornado warning for Doherty County in southwestern Georgia, South Central Lee County in southwestern Georgia, Southeastern Terrell County in southwestern Georgia, Northwestern Worth County in Georgia, until 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, at 4.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.
for Dairy County, including the city of Albany, Georgia. The National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a tornado warning for Doherty County in southwestern Georgia, South Central Lee County in southwestern Georgia, Southeastern Terrell County in southwestern Georgia, Northwestern Worth County in Georgia, until 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Albany, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for Dory County, including the city of Albany, Georgia. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hazard, deadly tornado and tennis ball size hail. Source, weather spotters confirmed tornado. At 4.09 p.m., a large tornado, estimated to be near 2.1 miles wide in diameter, was reported near Albany, with a history of catastrophic damage near the Dory Calvary County line. Impact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of entire neighborhoods is likely. Many well-built homes and businesses will be completely swept from their foundations. Debris will block most roadways. Mass devastation is highly likely, making the area unrecognizable to survivors. The tornado will be near Putney and East Albany around 4.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Turner City around 4.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Albany around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Marine Corps Logistics Base around 4.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sylvester around 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Gordon, Stocks, Radium Springs, Forrester, Lockett Crossing, Sylvester Airport, Walker, South Albany, Southwest Georgia Regional Airport in Palmy. Due to the threat of severe weather, no weather radio station WXK71 has interrupted its normal programming. We will resume normal broadcasting once the threat is passed. Visit our website at weather.gov slash Atlanta for the latest weather information, including watches and warnings. The forecast for the Macon area. Tornado Watch 225, in effect until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday morning.
the National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for southern Bibb County in central Georgia, northwestern Twiggs County in central Georgia, northeastern Peach County in central Georgia, east central Crawford County in central Georgia, northeastern Houston County in central Georgia, until 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located over Byron, or 9 miles northeast of Fort Valley, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, weather spotters confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Macon, Warner Robins, Centerville, Robins AFB, Marion, Robins Air Force Base, Jack Brown Estates, Bullard, Rutland, Lakewood, Huber, Dry Branch, Powerville, Alberta, Franklinton, Middle Georgia Regional Airport in Miami Valley. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed, and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466, or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for southern Bibb County in central Georgia, northwestern Twiggs County in central Georgia, northeastern Peach County in central Georgia, east central... was located over Byron, or 9 miles northeast of Fort Valley, moving east to 25 miles. Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Henry County in north central Georgia, northeastern Butts County in central Georgia, northwestern Jasper County in central Georgia, Newton County in north central Georgia, until 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located 8 miles north of Jenkinsburg, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris may be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Covington, Porterdale, Mansfield, Stewart, Turtle Cove, Ola, Worthville, Starville, Calvin, Eudora, North Alcopy, Fincherville and Rocky Plains. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466 or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Henry County in north central Georgia, northeastern Butts County in central Georgia, northwestern Jasper County in central Georgia, North Alchemy, Fincherville and Rocky Plains. 
to repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Service in Peachtree City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Towns County in northeastern Georgia, Central Hancock County in East Central Georgia, Northeastern Gwinnett County in North Central Georgia, Clark County in Northeastern Georgia, Eastern Hall County in North Central Georgia, Western Tolomar County in East Central Georgia, Jackson County in Northeastern Georgia, West Central Wilkes County in East Central Georgia, Madison County in Northeastern Georgia, East Central Union County in North Central Georgia, East Central Newton County in North Central Georgia, Oconee County in Northeastern Georgia, Barrow County in North Central Georgia, Morgan County in North Central Georgia, Putnam County in Central Georgia, Northeastern Lumpkin County in North Central Georgia, Banks County in Northeastern Georgia, White County in Northeastern Georgia, Walton County in North Central Georgia, Green County in East Central Georgia, Oglethorpe County in Northeastern Georgia, Eastern Jasper County in Central Georgia, until 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unprecedented line of severe thunderstorms continues to track across north and central Georgia, located along a line extending from Sutches to Gainesville to between to Monticello, moving east at 25 miles per hour. These are very dangerous storms. Hazard, 100 miles per hour wind gusts and grapefruit size hail. Source, trained weather spotters and local law enforcement. Damage due to hurricane force winds has been reported from as far north as Blue Ridge to as far south as Jackson. In addition, large destructive hail has been reported in Conyers and Dawsonville, with significant injuries and fatalities from lightning due to this line of storms. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris will be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Homes and businesses will have substantial roof and window damage. Expect extensive tree damage and power outages. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Gainesville, Wander, Monroe, Jefferson, Eatonton, Madison, Cleveland, Greensboro, Watkinsville, Monticello, Sparta, Boca, Danielsville, Lexington, Athens, Brassington, Auburn, Social Circle, and Rural. This is a very dangerous situation. These storms have a history of producing large destructive hail and destructive winds. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. This is an extremely dangerous situation with tornado-like wind speeds expected. Mobile homes and high-profile vehicles are especially susceptible to winds of this magnitude and may be overturned. For your protection, move immediately to a safe shelter or to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home or business. This storm has the 
central Morgan County. Do not delay. Seek immediate shelter now. Hazard, deadly tornado and grapefruit cause hail. Source, trained weather spotters and local law enforcement confirm large, violent, and destructive tornado near Newport. In addition, cataclysmic damage has been reported in Mansfield. Impact, major house and building damage highly likely, and complete destruction possible. Numerous trees snapped, major power outages and path of tornado highly likely. Some roads possibly blocked by tornado debris. Complete destruction of vehicles is likely. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Madison, Rutledge, Newborn, Mansfield, Buckhead, Farrer, Guthrie, Our Labor Creek State Park, Brickstore and Apologie. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed, and then call the National Weather Service toll-free at 1-866-763-4466, or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Southern Oconee County in northeastern Georgia, Morgan County in north central Georgia, southeastern Walton County.
4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Newborn, moving east at 25 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. If you are in central Morgan County, do not delay. Seek immediate shelter now. Hazard, deadly tornado and grapefruit size hail. Source, trained weather spotters and local... Tornado Emergency Prep in Clark County, the National Weather Service of Beach Tree City has issued a tornado warning for Oconee County in northeastern Georgia, north central Morgan County in north central Georgia, Clark County in northeastern Georgia, east central Walton County in north central Georgia, northwestern Greene County in east central Georgia, southeastern Jackson County in northeastern Georgia, west central Oglethorpe County in northeastern Georgia, until 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado was observed over Bosquick, or 9 miles south of Watkinsville, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for Athens, Clark County. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hazard, deadly tornado and grapefruit size hail. Source, weather spotters and emergency management confirm large, an extremely dangerous tornado. At 4.55 p.m., reported estimates indicate that the tornado was 2.2 miles wide in diameter. In addition, catastrophic and cataclysmic damage has been reported in Madison, with collapsed foundations and considerable structural damage in the area. Impact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of neighborhoods is likely. Many well-built homes and businesses will be completely swept away from their foundations. Debris will block most roadways. Mass devastation is highly likely, making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Watkinsville, Athens, Winterville, Crawford, North High Shoals, Bostwick, Arnoldsville, Bishop, Athens Clark County, Whitehall, James Hall and the Youth Sports Complex, Beachwood Hills, Oconee Heights, Barnett Shoals, State Botanical Garden of Georgia, Farmington, and Apologie. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide this tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466 or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. <coughs> Tornado Emergency for Athens Clark County, the National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Oconee County in northeastern Georgia, north central Morgan County in north central Georgia, Clark County in northeastern Georgia, east central Walton County in north central Georgia, northwestern Greene County in east central Georgia. <laughs>
Eastern Georgia, North Central Morgan County, North Central Georgia, Clark County, North Eastern Georgia, East Central Washington County, North Central Georgia, Northwestern Green County, and East Central Georgia, Southeastern Jackson County, North Eastern Georgia, West Central and the Fort County, North Eastern Georgia, until 530 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado was observed over Bostwick, or 9 miles south of Watkinsville, moving northeast to 25 miles per hour. Tornado emergency threatens Clark County. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hazard, deadly tornado and grapefruit size hell. Source, weather spotters and emergency management confirm large, and extremely dangerous tornado. At 4.55 p.m., reported estimates indicate that the tornado was 2.2 miles wide in diameter. In fact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of neighborhoods is likely. Many harbors, homes, and businesses will be completely swept away from their foundations. The blue will block most roadways. Mass devastation is highly likely, making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Watkinsville, Athens, Lincolnville, Crawford, North High Shores, Bostwick, Arnoldsville, Bishop, Athens Clark County, and Hall. Emergency for Athens Clark County, the National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Oconee County in northeastern Georgia, North Central Morgan County in North Central Georgia, Clark County in northeastern Georgia, East Central Walton County in North Central Georgia, Northwestern Green County in East Central Georgia, Southeastern Jackson County in Northeastern Georgia, West Central Oglethorpe County in Northeastern Georgia, until 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado was observed over Bostwick, or 9 miles south of Watkinsville, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for Athens Clark County. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hazard, deadly tornado and grapefruit size hail. Source, weather spotters and emergency management confirm large, and extremely dangerous tornado. At 4.55 p.m., reported estimates indicate that the tornado was 2.2 miles wide in diameter. Impact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of neighborhoods is likely. Many well-built homes and businesses will be completely swept away from their foundations. Debris will block most roadways. Mass devastation is highly likely, making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Watkinsville, Athens, Winterville, Crawford, North High Shoals, Bostwick, Arnoldsville, Bishop, Athens Clark County, White Hall, James Hall and Youth Sports Complex, Beechwood Hills.
This is the No Weather Radio All Hazards. WWH 24 broadcasting from a tower on Curry Mountain near Tuco, Georgia, operating on a frequency of 162.425 MHz. This transmitter is serving Northeast Georgia and the northwest corner of South Carolina. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 225, effective until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. This watch includes the following counties, in Georgia, Banks, Albert, Franklin, Habersham, Hall, Hart, Rabin, Stevens, Towns, and White, and the following counties, in North Carolina, Alexander, Anson, Avery, Burke, Cabarrus, Caldwell, Catawba, Cherokee, Clay, Cleveland, Davidson, Davie, Gaston, Graham, Haywood, Iredell, Jackson, Lincoln, McDowell, Mecklenburg, Mitchell, Montgomery, Bold, Richmond, Rowan, Rutherford, Stanley, Swain, Union, Montaga, Wilkes, and Yancey, and the following counties in South Carolina, Bradville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens, Spartanburg, Union, and York. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Destructive, long-track tornadoes, in addition to large hail up to grapefruit size, and extreme damaging winds are possible as severe thunderstorms track in from North Georgia and East Tennessee. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to No Weather Radio, commercial radio or television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 225 is in effect from 3.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday afternoon to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following counties, Georgia, Banks, Albert, Franklin, Habersham, Hall, Hart, Raven, Stevens, Towns, and White, and the following counties, in North Carolina, Alexander, Anson, Avery, Burke, Cabarrus, Caldwell, Catawba, Cherokee, Clay, Cleveland, Davidson, Davy, Gaston, Graham, Haywood, Iredell, Jackson, Lincoln, McDowell, Mecklenburg, Mitchell, Montgomery, Bold, Richmond, Rowan, Rutherford, Stanley, Swain, Union, Montaga, Wilkes, and Yancey, and the following counties, in South Carolina, Bradville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens, Spartanburg, Union, and York. These are the 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time observations across North Georgia on Friday, November 13th. At Gainesville, Georgia, a squall was reported. The temperature was 71 degrees, the dew point 65, with a relative humidity of 81%. The wind was east at 5 miles per hour. The pressure was 29.32 inches and falling. At Atlanta, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 72 degrees. At Athens, a squall was reported. The temperature was 73 degrees. At Augusta, light rain was falling. The temperature was 73 degrees. At Rome, a thunderstorm was reported. The temperature was 72 degrees. At Dalton, a thunderstorm was reported. The temperature was 72 degrees. In South Carolina, light rain was falling, with a temperature of 74 at Anderson, 72 at Clemson, 73 at Greenville Spartanburg, and 75 at Columbia. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 76 at Charleston. Around North Carolina, light rain was falling. It was 70 at Asheville, 73 at Franklin, and 75 at Charlotte. In East Tennessee, rain was falling. It was 70 at Chattanooga, 72 at Knoxville, and 70 at Bristol. Once again, at 5 p.m. at Gainesville, it was 71 degrees with a squall. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for Taco and extreme northeast Georgia. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms. Some storms may be so Please stand by for important weather information.
the National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a flash flood warning for Towns County in northeastern Georgia, Clark County in northeastern Georgia, Tolomar County in east central Georgia, Jackson County in northeastern Georgia, northeastern Newton County in north central Georgia, Oconee County in northeastern Georgia, Barrow County in north central Georgia, Morgan County in north central Georgia, Central Forsyth County in north central Georgia, Lumpkin County in north central Georgia, Banks County in northeastern Georgia, Green County in east central Georgia, North Central Jasper County in Central Georgia, Gwinnett County in North Central Georgia, Hall County in North Central Georgia, Western Wilkes County in East Central Georgia, Madison County in Northeastern Georgia, Union County in North Central Georgia, Northeastern Rockdale County in North Central Georgia, Northwestern Warren County in East Central Georgia, Northeastern Putnam County in Central Georgia, White County in Northeastern Georgia, Walton County in North Central Georgia, Central Dawson County in North Central Georgia, Eastern Fulton County in North Central Georgia, until 10 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 5.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the public reported flash flooding across the warned area, up to 3 inches, with isolated amounts of 5 to 6 inches across North Georgia, has fallen. Flash flooding is already occurring. Some locations that will experience flooding include Gainesville, Lawrenceville, Wander, Monroe, Jefferson, Commerce, Dahlonega, Madison, Cleveland, Greensboro, Watkinsville, Dawsonville, Homer, Iowa City, Blairsville, Danielsville, Crawford, Lexington, Athens, and the Loop. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. If you see significant flooding, wait until the storm has passed, and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466, or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a flash flood warning for Towns County in northeastern Georgia, Clark County in northeastern Georgia, Tolomar County in east central Georgia, Jackson County in northeastern Georgia, northeastern Newton County in north central Georgia, Oconee County in northeastern Georgia, Barrow County in north central Georgia, Morgan. This is the No Weather Radio All Hazards, WXJ21 broadcasting from the SCE TV tower on Paris Mountain in Greenville County, operating on the frequency of 162.525 MHz. This transmitter is serving the upstate of South Carolina. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 225, effective until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. This watch includes the following counties, in Georgia, Banks, Albert, Franklin, Habersham, Hall, Hart, Rabin, Stevens, Towns, and White, and the following counties, in North Carolina, Alexander, Anson, Avery, Burke, Cabarrus, Caldwell, Catawba, Cherokee, Clay, Cleveland, Davidson, Davy, Gaston, Graham, Haywood, Iredell, Jackson, Lincoln, McDowell, Mecklenburg, Mitchell, Montgomery, Bold, Richmond, Rowan, Rutherford, Stanley, Swain, Union, Watauga, Wilkes, and Yancey, and the following counties, in South Carolina, Bradville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens, Spartanburg, Union, and York. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Destructive, long-track tornadoes, in addition to large hail up to grapefruit size, and extreme damaging winds are possible as severe thunderstorms track in from North Georgia and East Tennessee. Remember, a tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, and or close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions, and should listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to No Weather Radio, commercial radio or television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 225 is in effect from 3.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday afternoon to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following counties, in Georgia, Banks, Albert, Franklin, Habersham, Hall, Hart, Raven, Stevens, Towns, and White, and the following counties, in North Carolina, Alexander, Anson, Avery, Burke, Cabarrus, Caldwell, Catawba, Cherokee, Clay, Cleveland, Davidson, Davy, Gaston, Graham, Haywood, Iredell, Jackson, Lincoln, McDowell, Mecklenburg, Mitchell, Montgomery, Fold, Richmond, Rowan, Rutherford, 
Stanley, Swain, Union, Watauga, Wilkes, and Yancey, and the following counties in South Carolina, Bradville, Anderson, Cherokee, Chester, Fairfield, Greenville, Lancaster, Lawrence, Newberry, Oconee, Pickens. <laughs> for important weather information. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Hart County in Northeastern Georgia, Eastern Elbert County in Northeastern Georgia, Transylvania County in Western North Carolina, Henderson County in Western North Carolina, Eastern Jackson County in Western North Carolina, Madison County in Western North Carolina, West Central Yancey County in Western North Carolina, Southwestern Polk County in Western North Carolina, Buncombe County in Western North Carolina, Haywood County in Western North Carolina, Western Lawrence County in Upstate South Carolina, Pickens County in Upstate South Carolina, Northeastern Oconee County in Upstate South Carolina, Greenville County in Upstate South Carolina, West Central Spartanburg County in Upstate South Carolina, Anderson County in Upstate South Carolina, Bradville County in Upstate South Carolina, Greenwood County in Upstate South Carolina, until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unprecedented line of severe thunderstorms, capable of producing large damaging hail up to softball size, and extreme damaging winds in excess of 100 miles per hour, continues to track across extreme northeast Georgia, western North Carolina and upstate South Carolina. These storms were located along a line extending from Smoky Mountains Big Creek to near Nancy Hart State Park, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Locations in the warning include Greenville Downtown, Downtown Asheville, Anderson, Greenwood, Easley, Clemson, Hendersonville, Brevard, Bradville, Pickens, Waynesville, Marshall, Greenville East Side, West Greenville, Greer, Malden, Taylors, East Asheville, Arden, and Simpsonville. This is a very dangerous situation. These storms have a history of producing destructive winds and large hail across North Georgia. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. This is an extremely dangerous situation. These storms are producing tornado-like wind speeds. Mobile homes and high-profile vehicles will be especially susceptible to winds of this magnitude and may be overturned. Seek shelter immediately in a sturdy structure or an interior room on the lowest floor of your home or business. These storms have the potential to cause serious injury and significant property damage. These storms are producing frequent and intense lightning. Turn off electrical appliances. Do not use corded telephones. Do not take a bath or shower. These storms are also producing extremely heavy rainfall. Flooding of drainage ditches in low-lying areas may occur. Small streams will rise rapidly. Do not drive through areas where water is flowing over the road. If on or near Lake Hart well, get out of the water and move indoors or inside a vehicle. Remember, lightning can strike out 15 miles from the parent thunderstorm. If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Move to safe shelter now. Do not be caught out on the water in a thunderstorm. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet it using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties, in Georgia, Albert and Hart, and the following counties, in North Carolina, Buncombe, Haywood, Henderson, Jackson, Madison, Polk, Transylvania and Yancey, and the following counties, in South Carolina, Abbeville, Anderson, Greenville, Greenwood, Lawrence, Oconee, Pickens and Spartanburg. Stand by for important weather information.
tornado emergency for Greenville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for East Central Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, North Central Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, East Central Pickens County in upstate South Carolina until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado near Welcome, or near Easley, moving east to 25 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for Greenville. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Greenville Downtown, Easley, Greenville East Side, West Greenville, Greer, Malden, Taylors, Simpsonville, Area, Five Forks, Welcome, Powdersville, Piedmont, Travelers Rest, Paris Mountain State Park, Lake Robinson, Cherry Dale Point, Furman University, Donaldson Center and Dacusville. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed if not underground or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweeted using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South Carolina, Anderson, Greenville, and Pickens. Tornado emergency for Greenville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for East Central Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, North Central Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, East Central Pickens County in upstate South Carolina until 7.15.
1.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado near Welcome, or near Easley, moving east at 25 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for Greenville. Take cover now. Locations impacted include... for important weather information. Violent tornado on ground over Greenville. Tornado emergency for Spartanburg. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for East Central Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, Northwestern Spartanburg County in upstate South Carolina until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado over downtown Greenville, or near Taylor's, moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 7.05 p.m., cataclysmic damage was reported in West Greenville. This is a tornado emergency for Spartanburg. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Greenville Downtown, Spartanburg, Greenville East Side, Greer, Malden, Taylor's, Five Forks, Boiling Springs, South Carolina, Duncan, Lyman, Welford, Inman, Roebuck, Reedville, GSB Airport, Moore, USC Upstate, Cedar Springs, Croft State Park and Paris Mountain State Park. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground, or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101, or by posting on our Facebook page, or tweet it using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South Carolina, Greenville, and Spartanburg. Tornado emergency for Greenville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for East Central Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, North Central Anderson County in upstate South Carolina.
Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll free 1 800 267 8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or read it using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the fall. Tornado on ground over Greenville, tornado emergency for Spartanburg, the National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for East Central Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, Northwestern Spartanburg County in upstate South Carolina, until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado over downtown Greenville, or near Taylor's, moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 7.05 p.m., cataclysmic damage was reported in West Greenville. This is a tornado emergency for Spartanburg. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Greenville Downtown, Spartanburg, Greenville East Side, Greer, Malden, Taylors, Five Forks, Boiling Springs, South Carolina, Duncan, Lyman, Welford, Inman, Roebuck, Reedville, GSB Airport, Moore, USC Upstate, Cedar Springs, Croft State Park and Paris Mountain State Park. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground, or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet it using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in South Carolina, Greenville, and Sp North Carolina, Western Pickens County in upstate South Carolina, Oconee County in upstate South Carolina, Southwestern Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, West Central Abhill County in upstate South Carolina, until 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 5.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unprecedented line of severe... Tornado emergency for downtown Asheville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Central Buncombe County in Western North Carolina, Eastern Haywood County in Western North Carolina until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
At 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado near Canton, or 11 miles west of downtown Asheville. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 25 miles per hour. Considerable damage has been reported in western Haywood County. This is a tornado emergency for downtown Asheville. Take cover now. Locations impacted include downtown Asheville, East Asheville, Arden, West Asheville, North Asheville, Fairview and Buncombe County, Biltmore Forest, Bent Creek, Lester, UMC Asheville, BR Parkway North Carolina Arboretum to East Asheville, BR Parkway East Asheville to Cracky Gardens, Skyland, Enka, Warren Wilson College and BR Parkway Mount Pisgah to the North Carolina Arboretum. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground, or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet it using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Buncombe, and Haywood. Tornado emergency for downtown Asheville. The National Weather Service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Central Buncombe County in Western North Carolina, Eastern Haywood County in Western North Carolina until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado near Canton, or 11 miles west of downtown Asheville. Doppler radar showed this.
County in Western North Carolina, Madison County in Western North Carolina, West Central Yancey County in Western North Carolina, Southwestern Polk County in Western North Carolina, Buncombe County in Western North Carolina, Haywood County in Western North Carolina, Western Lawrence County in... for important weather information. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Catawba County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Eastern Rutherford County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southwestern Alexander County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Caldwell County in Western North Carolina, Lincoln County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Cleveland County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Burke County in Western North Carolina, Northwestern Chester County in Upstate South Carolina, York County in Upstate South Carolina, Eastern Cherokee County in Upstate South Carolina, Northeastern Union County in Upstate South Carolina, until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar indicated a severe squall line capable of producing a tornado as well as damaging straight line winds. These storms were located along a line extending from near Glen Alpine to Union, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Emergency management has reported damage associated with a possible tornado near Gaffney, South Carolina, including large debris blocking roadways and collapsed foundations. Locations impacted include Gastonia, Rock Hill, Hickory, Shelby, Morganton, Newton, Gaffney, Lincolnton, New York, Chester, Kings Mountain, St. Stephens, Conover, Cherryville, Bessemer City, South Gastonia, Longview, Clover, Granite Falls and Valdez. This squall line has a history of producing large violent tornadoes across North Georgia, Western North Carolina and upstate South Carolina. For your protection seek immediate shelter in a basement or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Take cover now. If you wait to see or hear it coming, it will be too late to get to a safe place. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet it using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Alexander, Catawba, Cleveland. Gaston, and Lincoln, and the following counties in South Carolina, Cherokee, and York. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Catawba County in the Piedmont of North Carolina. straight line winds. These storms were located along a line extending from near Glen Alpine to Union, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Emergency management has reported damage associated with a possible tornado near Gaffney, South Carolina, including large debris blocking roadways and collapsed foundations. for important weather information. Tornado emergency for Charlotte, Davidson, North Carolina, and Huntersville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Western Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Catawba County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Lincoln County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southern Iredell County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southwestern Rowan County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Western Union County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Eastern York County in Upstate South Carolina, until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking two large, violent and extremely dangerous tornadoes. One was located near Stanley, the other located near Kramers. 
Doppler radar show both tornadoes moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 7.55 p.m., catastrophic damage was reported in Kings Mountain. In addition, this line of storms has a history of producing damage across the upstate and western North Carolina, with significant injuries and fatalities occurring in Asheville, Greenville, and Spartanburg. This is a tornado emergency for Charlotte, Davidson, North Carolina, and Huntersville. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Gastonia, Rock Hill, Uptown Charlotte, Huntersville, Annapolis, Monroe, Statesville, Newton, Lincolnton, New York, Central Charlotte, South Charlotte, Northeast Charlotte, Southwest Charlotte, East Charlotte, Northwest Charlotte, West Concord, Matthews, Cornelius, and Mooresville. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground, or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet it using hashtag NWSGSB. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cabarrus, Catawba, Gaston, Iredell, Lincoln, Mecklenburg, Rowan and Union, and York County, South Carolina. Tornado emergency for Charlotte, Davidson, North Carolina, and Huntersville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Western Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Catawba County in the Piedmont of... Charlotte, Northwest Charlotte, West Concord, Matthews, Cornelius, and Mooresville. 
This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground, or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. This is WSOC-TV. I'm Ashley Green speaking to you from the WSOC-TV Weather Center. We are receiving reports of a large violent tornado ripping through the Charlotte metro area at this time. Doppler radar indicated that this tornado is moving east at around 20 miles per hour. We now go live to our reporter John Sanders who is watching this unfold. John, can you hear me? I'm currently sheltered inside a hotel building near the Charlotte Metro. From what I see, this tornado is literally destroying everything in its path. It is not stopping. This thing is an absolute monster. It is really breaking my heart to see this unfold in my hometown. There, there is debris flying in the air. Glass is being shattered. Vehicles are being torn apart. Power flashes can be seen. This is awful. It really is. And to add on to what you just said, we have reports of gas leaks in the downtown area. UNC Charlotte is in the direct path of this tornado. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has already labeled this warning as a tornado emergency. That is something that you do not see every day, especially in these parts of North Carolina. Oh, oh God. John? Yes, Ashley. What is it? I don't want to make you scared or anything, but that tornado is headed right for your location. What? Yeah! I think you better get out of there as quickly as possible. This isn't good at all. Oh, God. Yeah. You're right. I see it getting closer and closer to me as I speak. I gotta get out of here! Now. Hurry, John! Hurry! <laughs> in North Carolina and Huntersville. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Western Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southeastern Catawba County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Lincoln County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southern Iredell County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Mecklenburg County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southwestern Rowan County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Gaston County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Western Union County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Eastern York County in upstate South Carolina until 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking two large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornadoes. One was located near Stanley, the other located near Kramers. Doppler radar showed both tornadoes moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 7.55 p.m., catastrophic damage was reported in Kings Mountain. In addition, this line of storms has a history of producing damage across the upstate and western North Carolina, with significant injuries and fatalities occurring in Asheville, Greenville, and Spartanburg. This is a tornado emergency for Charlotte, Davidson, North Carolina, and Huntersville. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Gastonia, Rock Hill, Uptown Charlotte, Huntersville, Kannapolis, Monroe, Statesville, Newton, Lincolnton, York.
Park, Central Charlotte, South Charlotte, Northeast Charlotte, Southwest Charlotte, East Charlotte, Northwest Charlotte, West Concord, Matthews, Cornelius, and Mooresville. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter, to protect your life. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to go off the air. This is bad. Everyone, get down! Get to the shelter now! <laughs> Southwest Charlotte, East Charlotte, Northwest Charlotte, West Concord, Matthews, Cornelius, and Mooresville. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado sh for important weather information. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Northern Cabarrus County in the Piedmont of North Carolina, Southern Rowan County in the Piedmont of North Carolina until 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 8.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado over Kannapolis. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 8.42 p.m., cataclysmic damage was reported in the Charlotte Metro, with collapsed foundations, injuries, and fatalities being reported in downtown Charlotte. Locations impacted include Kannapolis, downtown Concord, Salisbury, West Concord, Chins Grove, Landis, Enochville, Granite Quarry, Rockwell, Mount Pleasant, Faith, High Rock Lake, Cottle Creek Reservoir and Gold Hill. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. A large, violent and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. To protect your life, seek immediate shelter underground, or on the lowest floor in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Mobile homes and outbuildings should be evacuated for more substantial shelter. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service Greenville Spartanburg by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet it using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Cabarrus, and Rowan. The National Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for Northern Cabarrus County. ...42 p.m., cataclysmic damage was reported in the Charlotte Metro, with collapsed foundations, injuries, and fatalities being reported in downtown Charlotte. Locations impacted include Kannapolis, Please stand by for important weather information.
the National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Davidson County in central North Carolina, southwestern Randolph County in central North Carolina, until 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 9.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near High Rock Lake, or 12 miles south of Lexington. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 9.12 p.m., cataclysm to unprecedented damage was reported in the Charlotte Metro. Locations impacted include Denton, Museum, Gordontown, High Rock Boat Dock Marina, North Carolina Wildlife Access Boat Launch, High Rock Lake Marina and Campground, Martha and High Rock Lake. To repeat, an extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. If a tornado or other severe weather is spotted, report it to the National Weather Service or your nearest law enforcement agency who will send your report. This act may save lives of others in the path of dangerous weather. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Davidson County, North Carolina. The National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Davidson County in central North Carolina, southwestern Randolph County in central North Carolina, until 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at 9.14. Service in Raleigh has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Davidson County in central North Carolina, southwestern Randolph County in central North Carolina until 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 9.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were cranking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near High Rock Lake, or 12 miles south of Lexington. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 9.12 p.m., cataclysm to unprecedented damage was reported in the Charlotte Metro. Locations impacted include Denton, Newsom, Mordentown, High Rock Boat Dock Marina North Carolina Wildlife Access Boat Launch, High Rock Lake Marina and Campground, Martha and High Rock Lake. To repeat, an extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. If a tornado or other severe weather is spotted, report it to the National Weather Service or your nearest law enforcement agency who will send your report. This act may save lives of others in the path of dangerous weather. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following county, Davidson County, North Carolina.
emergency situation. If a tornado or other severe weather is spotted, report it to the National Weather Service or your nearest law enforcement agency who will send your report. This act may save lives of others in the path of dangerous weather. The National Weather Service in Blacksburg has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Stokes County, northwestern Rockingham County, the city of Martinsville, southwestern Henry County, southeastern Patrick County, until 10.15 p.m. At 9.25 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sand Ridge, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sand Ridge, Crotts and Prestonville around 9.30 p.m. Pean Store and Ayersville around 9.40 p.m. Spencer around 9.45 p.m. Price around 9.55 p.m. Horse Pasture and Field Dale around 10 p.m. Ridgeway and Villa Heights around 10.05 p.m. Martinsville around 10.10 10 p.m. Chad Moss, Laurel Park, and Sandy Level around 10.15 p.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. When it is safe to do so, please send your reports of hail of any size, as well as reports of wind damage, including downed trees or large limbs, to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-866-215-4324. Reports and pictures can also be shared on the National Weather Service Blacksburg Facebook page and on Twitter. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.15 p.m. for the following counties in North Carolina, Rockingham and Stokes, and the following counties in Virginia, Henry, and Patrick, and the Virginia independent city of Martinsville. Tornado emergency for Winston-Salem, the National Weather Service in Raleigh, has issued a tornado warning for Northern Davidson County, Forsyth County, until 10.15 p.m. At 9.28 p.m., Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Clemens, or nine miles west of Winston-Salem. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east to 25 miles per hour. At 9.25 p.m., damage was reported in North Wilkesboro in association with a tornado. This is a tornado emergency for Winston-Salem. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Winston-Salem, Kernersville, Clemens, Bermuda Run, Huntsville, Louisville, Walker Town, Rural Hall, Fafftown, Bellews Creek, Stanleyville, Bellews Lake, Sedge Garden and Donata. To repeat, an extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. If a tornado or other severe weather is spotted, report it to the National Weather Service or your nearest law enforcement agency who will send your report. This act may save lives of others in the path of dangerous weather. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Davidson and Forsyth.
flash flood emergency for Greensboro and Winston-Salem. The National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a flash flood warning for Forsyth County, Davidson County, Northern Randolph County, Guilford County, until 3 a.m. At 9.51 p.m., gauge reports indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. In addition, law enforcement officials in Winston-Salem have reported the business section of Interstate 40 and roads in and out of downtown Winston-Salem closed in both directions due to floodwaters rising rapidly, with additional reports indicating standing water and homes and businesses in Greensboro, Welcome, and High Point. Flash flooding is already occurring and is expected to continue through the overnight hours. This is a flash flood emergency for Greensboro and Winston-Salem. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Seek higher ground now. Some locations that will experience flooding include Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point, Ashboro, Lexington, Randleman, Thomasville, Kernersville, Clemens, Bermuda Run, McLeansville, Linwood, Huntsville, Louisville, Archdale, Summerfield, Trinity, Gibsonville, Stokesdale, and Walkertown. Move to higher ground now. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or are under an evacuation order. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. Please report flooding to your local law enforcement agency when you can do so safely. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 3 a.m. for the following counties in North Carolina, Davidson, Forsyth, Guilford and Randolph. Flash flood emergency for Greensboro and Winston-Salem. The National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a flash flood warning for Forsyth County, Davidson County, Northern Randolph County, Guilford County, until 3 a.m. At 9.51 p.m., gauge reports indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. In addition, law enforcement officials in Winston-Salem have reported the business section of Interstate 40 and roads. for Winston-Salem, the National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a tornado warning for Northern Davidson County, Forsyth County, until 10.15 p.m. At 9.28 p.m., Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Clemens, or nine miles west of Winston-Salem. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east to 25 miles per hour. At 9.25 p.m., damage was reported in North Wilkesboro in association with a tornado. This is a tornado emergency for Winston-Salem. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Winston-Salem, Kernersville, Clemens, Bermuda Run, Huntsville, Louisville, Walkertown, Royal Hall, Pattown, Bunnes Creek, Stanleyville, Bunnes Lake, Sedge Garden and Panada. To repeat, an extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. If a tornado or other severe weather is spotted, report it to the National Weather Service or your nearest law enforcement agency and we will send your report. This act may save lives of others in the path of dangerous weather. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Davidson and Forsyth.
National Weather Service in Blacksburg has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Stokes County, northwestern Rockingham County, the city of Martinsville, southwestern Henry County, southeastern Patrick County, until 10.15 p.m. At 9.25 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sandy Ridge, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sandy Ridge, Crotts and Prestonville around 9.30 p.m. King Store and Ayersville around 9.40 p.m. Spencer around 9.45 p.m. Price around 9.55 p.m. Horse Pasture and Field Dale around 10 p.m. Ridgeway and Villa Heights around 10.05 p.m. Martinsville around 10.10 p.m. Chad Moss, Laurel Park, and Sandy Level around 10.15 p.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. When it is safe to do so, please send your reports of hail of any size, as well as reports of wind damage, including down trees or large limbs, to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-866-215-4324. Reports and pictures can also be shared on the National Weather Service Blacksburg Facebook page and on Twitter. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.15 p.m. for the following counties in North Carolina, Rockingham and Stokes, and the following counties in Virginia, Henry, and Patrick, and the Virginia independent city of Martinsville. Tornado emergency for Winston-Salem, the National Weather Service in Raleigh, has issued a tornado warning for Northern Davidson County, Forsyth County, until 10.15 p.m. At 9.28 p.m., Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Clemens, or nine miles west of Winston-Salem. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 25 miles per hour. At 9.25 p.m., damage was reported in North Wilkesboro in association with a tornado. This is a tornado emergency for Winston-Salem. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Winston-Salem, Kernersville, Clemens, Bermuda Run, Huntsville, Louisville, Walkertown, Wirtle Hall, Town, Bunns Creek, Stanleyville, Bunns Lake, Sedge Garden and Donata. To repeat, an extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. If a tornado or other severe weather is spotted, report it to the National Weather Service or your nearest law enforcement agency who will send your report. This act may save lives of others in the path of dangerous weather. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in North Carolina, Davidson and Forsyth.
rapidly with additional reports indicating standing water and homes and businesses in Greensboro, Welcome, and High Point. Flash flooding is already occurring and is expected to continue through. Service in Raleigh has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Moore County, southeastern Randolph County, northwestern Lee County, southwestern Chatham County until 10.45 p.m. At 10.11 p.m., Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located 12 miles east of Seagrove or 13 miles northwest of Carthage, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Samford, Goldston, Robbins, Gum Springs, Cumnock, Harper's Crossroads, High Falls, Tramway, and Glendon. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.45 p.m. for the following counties in North Carolina, Chatham, Lee, Moore, and Randolph. The National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Moore County, southeastern Randolph County, northwestern Lee County, southwestern Chatham. This is NOAA Weather Radio, all hazard station WXL58, operating on frequency 162.55 MHz. This program originates from the National Weather Service in Raleigh and is transmitted from an antenna located on the UNC TV Tower near Chapel Hill. This station serves the Northeast Piedmont of North Carolina. Tornado Watch number 225 remains in effect until 6 a.m. Saturday morning for the following counties in North Carolina, Alamance, Chatham, Durham, Franklin, Granville, Barnett, Johnston, Lee, Moore, Orange, Person, Randolph, Vance, Wake and Warren. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Destructive, long-track tornadoes, in addition to large destructive hail and damaging winds, are expected in the wash area overnight. Remember, Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a flash flood warning for Wake County, southeastern Durham County, until 4 a.m. Saturday. At 11.59 p.m., Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Up to three inches of rain have already fallen, with isolated amounts of four to five inches being reported around Raleigh. Flash flooding is already occurring. Some locations that will experience flooding include Raleigh, Durham, Cary, Wake Forest, Garner, Parkway Arena, Zebulon, Raleigh Durham International, Apex, Holly Springs, Morrisville, Nutdale, Windell, Roseville, Lake Wheeler, Gorman, Lake Benson, Research Triangle, Falls Lake and Falls Lake Boat Ramp. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flash flooding of streams, creeks, roads, low-lying and poor drainage areas. Do not drive your vehicle into areas where water covers the road. Many roads and intersections in the area will quickly flood. When encountering flooded roads, turn around, don't drown. Move to higher ground now. Act quickly to protect your life. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. Please report flooding to your local law enforcement agency when you can do so safely. Repeating, a flash flood warning has been issued until 4 a.m. Saturday for the following counties in North Carolina, Wake, and Durham. The National Weather Service in Raleigh has issued a flash flood warning for Wake County, southeastern Durham County, until 4 a.m. Saturday at 11.59 p.m. ...covers the road. Many roads and intersections in the area will quickly flood. When encountering flooded roads, turn around, don't drown. Move to higher ground now. Act quickly to protect your life. 
be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers. Tornado Emergency for Ali, the National Weather Service in Blacksburg, has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Nash County, northeastern Wake County, north central Johnston County, southwestern Franklin County, until 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 12.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was observed over Ali, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Tornado Emergency for Ali, this is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado and hail 2 inches in diameter. Source, radar confirmed tornado. At 12.42 a.m., local law enforcement reported blocked roadways in association with this tornado. In addition, at 12.45 a.m., a debris signature indicated by Doppler radar was estimated to be 2.2 miles wide in diameter. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near Raleigh and Garner now. New Hope and Muse around 12.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. New Hope and Muse around 1.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wake Forest and Nightdale around 1.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Roseville and Wendell around 1.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bun and Middlesex around 1.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see or confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation. When it is safe to do so, please send your reports of hail of any size, as well as reports of wind damage, including downed trees or large limbs, to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-866-215-4324. Reports and pictures can also be shared on the National Weather Service Blacksburg Facebook page and on Twitter. Tornado emergency for Ali. The
In addition, at 12.45 a.m., a debris signature indicated by Doppler radar was estimated to be 2.2 miles wide in diameter. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near, Raleigh and Garner now. New Hope and News around 12.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. New Hope and News around 1.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lake Forest and Night Day around 1.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Roseville and Wendell around 1.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bun and Middlesex around 1.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see or confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an Tornado emergency for Ali, the National Weather Service in Blacksburg, has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Nash County, northeastern Wake County, north central Johnston County, southwestern Franklin County, until 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 12.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was observed over Ali, moving east to 25 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for Ali. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado and hail 2 inches in diameter. Source, radar confirmed tornado. At 12.42 a.m., local law enforcement reported blocked roadways in association with this tornado. In addition, at 12.45 a.m., a debris signature indicated by Doppler radar was estimated to be 2.2 miles wide in diameter. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near, Raleigh and Garner now. New Hope and News around 12.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. New Hope and News around 1.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wake Forest and Nightdale around 1.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Roseville and Wendell around 1.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bun and Middlesex around 1.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see or confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado.
This is no weather radio station, WXK71. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Peachtree City and is transmitted from Macon on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. is transmitted at the request of the Bibb County Emergency Management. Damage has been reported in southern Macon as a result of severe weather in the area, with the worst hit areas being southeast Macon, including the following districts. Westgate Estates, Westminster, Westview, and Arlington Park. In addition, considerable damage due to severe weather has also been reported at Mercer University, which is closed for the day. Further evaluations will be made throughout the day to determine when it will reopen. Because of damage in portions of Macon and vicinity, authorities are requesting that residents do not travel unless absolutely necessary. Continue to monitor local media outlets for further information as it becomes available. Here is the official forecast from your National Weather Service for the Macon listening area. Today, mostly sunny. message is transmitted at the request of the Bibb County Emergency Management. Damage has been reported in southern Macon as a result of severe weather in the area, with the worst hit areas being southeast Macon, including the following districts. Westgate Estates, Westminster, Westview, and Arlington Park. In addition, considerable damage due to severe weather has also been reported at Mercer University, which is closed for the day. Further evaluations will be made throughout the day to determine when it will reopen. 
Because of damage in portions of Macon and vicinity, authorities are requesting that residents do not travel unless absolutely necessary. Continue to monitor local media outlets for further information as it becomes available. is transmitted at the request of the County Emergency Management Agencies of Clark, Morgan, Newton, and Oconee. Widespread destruction has been reported in the cities of Madison, Athens, Watkinsville, Bostwick, and Newborn. In addition, residents have also reported scoured roadways in areas ranging from Madison to the west side of Athens. Because of the large debris blocking roadways in portions of the counties, emergency management in these areas will not be able to reach you. If you require assistance, do not leave your present location unless absolutely necessary. If you are outside of the affected areas, do not assist those in need unless told otherwise by local authorities. The National Guard is currently en route to assist those in need of assistance. Continue to monitor local media outlets for further information. You are listening to No Weather Radio Stations, W, X. K-56 and K-P, South 506, originating from the National Weather Service office in Peachtree City and transmitting from Athens on a frequency of 162.4 MHz and from Washington on a frequency of 162.5 MHz. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Emergency Management Agencies of Greenville and Spartanburg Counties. Damage has been reported as a result of a large tornado that tracked through the area yesterday evening. There are reports of debris blocking roadways, trees down, and buildings swept away from their foundations. In addition, USC Upstate has sustained considerable damage as a result of this tornado and will be closed for the day. Further evaluations will be made tomorrow morning to determine when it will open again. Because of the damage sustained in the Greenville-Spartanburg vicinity, any travel is strongly discouraged throughout the afternoon. This is the NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. WXJ21 broadcasting from the SCE TV tower on Paris Mountain in Greenville County, operating on a frequency of 162.525. This is NOAA Weather Radio, All Hazard Station WXL42, operating on frequency 162.40 MHz. 
This program originates from the National Weather Service in Raleigh and is transmitted from an antenna located on the WXII TV tower on Sora Town Mountain in Stokes County. This station serves the northwest Piedmont and northern foothills of North Carolina. message is transmitted at the request of the Winston-Salem Police and the Forsyth County Emergency Management. Damage as a result of a large tornado has been reported in downtown Winston-Salem, including large debris blocking roads, power lines down in multiple areas of town, and collapsed buildings in the area. Because of the large debris blocking roadways and multiple reports of power lines down in areas of downtown, authorities are requesting that residents do not travel on downtown Winston-Salem unless extremely necessary. Continue monitoring local media outlets for the latest information as it becomes available. This is NOAA Weather Radio, all hazard station WXL42, operating on frequency 162.40 MHz. This program originates from the National Weather Service in Raleigh and is trans. Message is transmitted at the request of the Wake County Emergency Management. A radiological hazard advisory has been issued for the Shear and Harris nuclear power plant, located southwest of Raleigh, due to the possibility of a meltdown due to damage caused by severe weather in the overnight hours. While there is no confirmation of a meltdown at this time, the following precautionary measures should be taken to ensure the safety of residents within the emergency planning zone. Because of the possibility of radioactive materials being released into the air, a voluntary evacuation has been issued for the 10-mile emergency planning zone, although there is a possibility of an upgrade. Should an evacuation order be issued, evacuate immediately to a safer location. If an explosion occurs, put on an approved gas mask, namely one rated NBC or CBRN. Make sure you have food, water, clothing that can last for 14 days, and a radio operated by batteries. Continue to monitor local media outlets for further information on this potentially dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Wake County Emergency Management. A radiological hazard advisory has been issued for the Shear and Harris Nuclear Power Plant, located southwest of Raleigh. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Mecklenburg County Emergency Management. 
a radiological hazard advisory has been issued for the Maguire nuclear station, located northwest of Charlotte, due to the possibility of a meltdown due to damage caused by severe weather in the overnight hours. While there is no confirmation of a meltdown at this time, the following precautionary measures should be taken to ensure the safety of residents within the emergency planning zone. Because of the possibility of radioactive materials being released into the air, a voluntary evacuation has been issued for the 10-mile emergency planning zone, although there is a possibility of an upgrade. Should an evacuation order be issued, evacuate immediately to a safe location. If an explosion occurs, put on an approved gas mask, namely one rated NPC or CBRN. Make sure you have food, water, clothing that can last for 14 days, and radio operated by batteries. Continue to monitor local media outlets for further information on this potentially dangerous situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Mecklenburg County Emergency Management. A radiological hazard advisory has been issued for the McGuire Nuclear Station. materials being released into the air. A voluntary evacuation has been issued for the 10-mile emergency planning zone, although there is a possibility of an upgrade. Should an evacuation order be issued, evacuate immediately to a safer location. If an explosion occurs, put on an approved gas mask, namely one rated NBC or CBRN. Make sure you have food, water, clothing that can last for 14 days, and radio operated by batteries. Continue to monitor local media... emergency management. A nuclear power plant warning is in effect for the Sheeran Harris nuclear power plant, located near New Hill, North Carolina. A general emergency has been declared due to severe weather in the overnight hours causing a chain reaction overnight, which has resulted in a total core meltdown of reactor number two. In addition, a power excursion as a result of severe weather in the overnight hours was reported, which has sparked a large fire inside the core as a result. As of 6.41 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the following precautionary measures should be taken immediately for your safety. Residents within the 50-mile emergency planning zone are under an immediate evacuation order and should evacuate immediately. Should you choose not to evacuate, you will be putting your life in extreme danger. When evacuating, tie a red bell to your mailbox or door to signal to authorities that you are aware of the situation. If you require assistance, do not use the towel. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup points. To prevent exposure to radioactive materials, put on an approved gas mask, namely one rated at BC or CBRN. Turn off all heating and ventilation systems, close all windows and doors, and seal up any cracks, if at all possible. Do not attempt to pick up relatives at schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. Make sure you have enough adequate supplies, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing for 14 days, and radio operated by batteries. Local stations will provide important information as it becomes available. Finally, and most importantly, stay calm in this situation. It has been demonstrated that panic will only jeopardize the current situation you are in. Repeating, a nuclear power plant warning has been issued due to a core meltdown sparked as a result of a chain reaction caused by severe weather in the area overnight. If you have not evacuated already, do so immediately. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Wake County Emergency Management. A nuclear power plant warning is in effect for the Sheeran Harris Nuclear Power Plant, located near New Hill, North Carolina. A general emergency has been declared due to severe weather in the overnight hours causing a chain reaction overnight, which has resulted in a total core meltdown of reactor number two. 
In addition, a power excursion as a result of severe weather in the overnight hours was reported, which has sparked a large fire inside the core as a result. As of 6.41 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the following precautionary measures should be taken immediately for your safety. Residents within the 50-mile emergency planning zone are under an immediate evacuation order and should evacuate immediately. Should you choose not to evacuate, you will be putting your life in extreme danger. When evacuating, tie a red doll to your mailbox or door to signal to authorities that you are aware of the situation. If you require assistance, do not use the towel. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup points. To prevent exposure to radioactive materials, put on an approved gas. located northwest of Charlotte due to the possibility of a meltdown due to damage caused by severe weather in the overnight hours. While there is no confirmation of a meltdown at this time, the following precautionary measures should be taken to ensure the safety of residents within the emergency planning zone. Because of the possibility of radioactive materials being released into the air, a voluntary evacuation has been issued for the 10-mile emergency planning zone, although there is a possibility of an upgrade. Should an evacuation order be issued, evacuate immediately to a safe location. If an ex Emergency planning zone are under an immediate evacuation order and should evacuate immediately. 
Should you choose not to evacuate, you will be putting your life in extreme danger. When evacuating, tie a red bell to your mailbox or door to signal to authorities that you are aware of the situation. If you require assistance, do not use the towel. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup points. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Governor of North Carolina. A civil danger warning currently exists for the state of North Carolina due to two large uncontrolled fires at the McGuire Nuclear Station in Charlotte and the Sheeran Harris Nuclear Power Plant near New Hill. At this time, there is a likelihood that radioactive materials are present in the fires and may be ejected into the air. Should this occur, the evacuation radius will be expanded beyond the 50-mile emergency planning zones for both Sheeran Harris and McGuire. If you choose not to evacuate, seek a fallout shelter immediately, as fallout can spread over a large area. Fallout is a byproduct of radioactive materials. Prolonged exposure can result in fatal consequences. Once explosions occur, it will only take a minute for effects to reach nearby areas. Make sure you have enough adequate supplies for your fallout shelter, such as non-perishable food, water, medications, clothing, and a radio operated by a hand crank or batteries, organic or rechargeables. Local stations will resume coverage on this developing emergency if needed. For now, stay tuned to this or other media outlets for further information and important instructions on this extremely volatile situation, and be prepared to take further action if necessary. Sharon Harris exploded? Yes, Sharon Harris exploded! Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, oh, this is not right. This is not going right. Oh, look at this! You might want to take oh a look at this, God. sir. Come over here. Come over here. I'm on my look. way. Look at this. Look at the levels for reactor number three on the screen. Oh my. Look at the levels. Oh my god. It's it's 10 it's 10 plus higher than the recommended zone. It's supposed to be at 30. It's at 40. I, and the danger zone is at 50. Oh, oh god. If it reaches the danger zone, we're all toast. Not if we take the proper precautions. Don't panic. We got to find a way to shut down these reactor cores before any more damage can be done. The storms have already taken their toll on both plants. 
Obviously, Sharon Harris has suffered the worst of it because they exploded. But we're going to try and shut down McGuire's reactors. Just trying to shut everything down here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you seeing what's going on with reactor what? number four? What? What's wrong? Oh, shoot. Reactor number four is rising now. Requesting an immediate shutdown of reactor number four. Somebody shut down the reactor core as soon as they can. They better. I don't want it rising up to dangerous levels like reactor number three is. Reactor number three is now at 42. Oh, God. Reduce the power going to that reactor. If it keeps rising, then completely shut it off. Reducing the power now. Reduce the power for reactor number four as well. If that one keeps rising, shut that one down too. We gotta at least try to preserve whatever is left of this plant. Oh God. Reactor number three is still rising. Requesting immediate shutdown. Oh God. Shut down the reactor core immediately. I repeat, shut down reactors number three and four immediately. Get the emergency overdrive in place now! Emergency overdrive going into effect. Shit, it's jammed. It's not go- Oh, oh, oh God. The fire alarms are going off. Fire alarms are going off. Come on, we gotta- Listening to WQPD Q105. We now go to WJMX for further information on an extremely volatile situation that continues to unfold across the state line in North Carolina. The situation that was first reported to be due to severe weather in the overnight hours has escalated rapidly since 7 a.m. this morning. While authorities and EMS continue to combat the blazes, we have gotten reports of explosions occurring inside the plant which have resulted in releases of radioactive materials into the air. There are also reports of a national emergency on standby as a result of the possibility of a large explosion occurring at both plants. Wait a minute. Folks, I believe we are receiving something on the end coach. We're going to have to cut away from the broadcast here as we have also received something on the end deck. Stand by. Stand by. Oh my god. Folks, this is it. A national emergency has been declared. Stand by as we activate the emergency alert system. We interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. Transmit this emergency action notification message. 
This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WQPD. We will continue to serve the Florence area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Florence area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is WQPD. This station will continue furnishing news, official information, and instructions for the Florence area. If you are not in the Florence area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your area. It is important that you listen carefully to announcements from the station in your local area. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is WQPD. This station will continue furnishing news, official information, and instructions for the Florence area. If you are not in the Florence area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your area. It is important that you listen carefully to announcements from... consequences. When an explosion occurs, it will only take a minute for the effects to reach nearby areas. Make sure you have all adequate supplies, such as non-perishable food, water, medication, clothes, and radio operated by batteries. Local stations will continue to provide important information on this dangerous situation. The president has been moved to an undisclosed location, and will speak within the hour. Stand by for further... Hello everyone, Clay Ranger 143 here. 
I just want to give you guys a quick announcement. If you made it to the end of this video, then I absolutely salute you for sticking with this video this long. It shows how determined that you guys are to watch my content, and I am very appreciative of that. Now, this is very, very special for me to collaborate with someone from the old breed yet again, like I've done twice on Hidden Consequences and Calamitous Night, both last year. But we're finally coming back as a pair, an unstoppable pair, might I add. And this scenario was absolutely ball-busting to make. And that is an understatement in itself in so many ways possible. Because this is now the longest EAS scenario in the EAS community. Completely surpassing Weather Disaster 6, which I thought was going to be the longest EAS scenario in the community. Until... Me and the devious Boyo, known as Shadow Frost Studios, decided, Oh, hi! We're gonna make Weather Disaster 7! And it's gonna be a prequel to the original two Weather Disasters that occurred in North Carolina! As well as Weather Disaster 4! So, this is what has resulted from it. A three-plus-hour-long EAS scenario. And believe me, both me and Shadow have worked extensively hard on this, and, sure enough, it has paid off like any scenario. If you try your best, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Besides the AS scenarios, even. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything in this world. And this scenario has demonstrated it in so many ways. And, furthermore, I would like to extend my personal thanks out to Shadow Frost, a.k.a. EAS Alert 88, because he is an absolute legend in my book, since he is part of the old breed of EAS creators. He's been on YouTube for over 11 years, and it is absolutely unbelievable. And it is my absolute privilege and honor to be collaborating with him. I am so lucky that I even collaborated with him the first time back in July with Hidden Consequences, and then again in December for Calamitous Night. And I hope that we continue to have many future collaborations along the way with this. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Oh, I can't even put it into words. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazingly long EAS scenario. And stay tuned for more content, especially coming up in May. Keep those dates in mind. Remember, May 3rd, 2019 for The Wedge 2, and May 11th, 2019 for Radioactive Queen. Special birthday gift, I might add, for Radioactive Girl 00, of course. So, as always, we'll see you next time with another video or another EAS scenario, wherever we may be at this point in time in the future. So, let's kick back and relax and watch some behind the scenes footage, shall we?